Hi, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. So we have the King of Swords, we have the Five of Pentacles, and we have the Eight of Swords. So with the King of Swords, this is energy and this is the characteristics of someone who is um, very direct, someone who speaks from facts and from knowledge and from experience and speaks very clearly and with clarity and is direct, blunt to the point, not fooling around, no nonsense, and just really gets to the heart of the matter. And you can see the, the sword is ready to be put down for decision making. And so, you know, here he's ready to rule and he's interested in ruling fairly. He's interested in ruling uh, with integrity and truthfulness. So that's Part of this sword's energy is that we are, uh, you know, uh, sword's energy is dealing with the mind and dealing with our intellect, our smarts, and how we use our smarts to problem solve or to think of new strategies to deal with situations. And so maybe a day where you really have to sit and think about things, but think, think about things that really are what you see. Not necessarily what you're feeling, but what are the facts? You know, what are the facts on both sides? If you're, if you're having to make a decision, if you're having to uh, really consider a problem or a scenario, you really need to be aware of everything in 360 degrees of knowing what's going on with that particular issue before you make a decision. That's what the King of Swords would bring. This is decisive. Uh, intellectual reasoning may not be all that warm and fuzzy but it's really just kind of look you would be looking at the numbers you would just be analyzing and looking at the numbers and then making decisions or you're you're reading the the memorandum and you're just getting getting the chrono, you know, uh, chr chronology or if, if that's the right word of a situation and so you're using that to fuel and to power whatever decisions you make. And the King of Swords is really cutting through the nonsense. So it seems that whether you're strategizing, whether, whether you're having to face and to solve a problem, that this type of energy is to just get clear and get focused and look at what's on the table. Just see what you have right there and then go from there in making your plan and making decisions in communicating with others. You know, be informed and know your stuff before you return an email to someone or if you have to get back with someone. Uh, be confident and to know what you're talking about. So here's the King of Swords, which is this very sharp, uh, clear thinking type of energy. And then we have the Five of Pentacles. And in this illustration, you see the hard luck couple here walking past the stained glass windows of pentacles. And it looks like they're struggling. And often this card is about struggle. It could be about ill health. It could be about being exhausted, worn down. You may feel like you're not getting support. You may feel that uh, you're an outsider and that you have no hope of getting in because you're just, they, they seem to be oblivious of the help that could be right there. And so when we see this card, uh, it's important to, to know that, you know, everyone has their downtime, their down moments when they, when they're really struggling or if they're really not up to, up to snuff or feeling good and, um, stressed out, exhausted. And what do you do to get out of that? You kind of, um, piece by piece, try to rebuild your strength or you, again, you have to ask for help. The help is right there and they're not noticing it. If they just change their perspective, if they turn and stop and look at the pentacles, it may trigger the thought 
to, hey, we need to go in here and maybe get some help and talk to someone. But if you are, uh, you know, sometimes when you're in a hard luck moment, it's what you really are thinking about and it's hard to get yourself out of thinking of that. And so here they are, they're just walking right by, cold weather, feeling out in the cold, feeling unsupported. But if you're able just to take a moment to stop and get out of that momentum where you're walking that way and maybe turn and change your, again, change your perspective, then there may be hope to get the help and to get better. You know, when I see this card, it's, it's a minor arcana. So it's something that happens. We have these moments and again, we have to climb our way out of them. And here's the eight of swords and the woman is blindfolded and she's bound and she's standing in a puddle and the swords are behind her. And this is a situation of feeling trapped or restricted. So having this hard luck feeling here is certainly contributing to this eight of swords, which is, I don't know how to get out of this. I'm not sure. I'm not having any clarity. I'm not having any idea of what can I do to get myself out of this feeling where I, where I feel doubt. Maybe I feel neg negative about what's going on in my life. Maybe I'm not seeing things very clearly. And as a result, I'm afraid to move. I'm afraid to do something. And so I'm just here. I'm just standing here. What I always feel with this Eight of Swords card is that, you know, she's loosely bound. She's not wrapped tightly. And the blindfold is loosely bound. And, you know, you have to be ready to strip off the blindfold and to say, I'm going to break free from these binds and I'm going to move away from the puddle and from the swords. I'm going to take that first step. And again, it may feel momentous to do that. It may feel like there's no way I can do that. I'm, you know, there's no chance of doing, I don't feel that I can do that. But ultimately, if you can change your perspective and if you can just make that first step, then something better may come and should come. I always feel that this is a sense of kind, our own limitations that we do to ourselves is that we, we do feel trapped sometimes and it's hard to see other avenues. It's hard to see other options. And we're just kind of right there, we're stuck. And honestly, sometimes we are trapped by relationships or by circumstances or by other people who are oppressing us and that does happen. And so you have to use your smarts here. With the King of Swords, you have to use some strategy and some thinking forward to try to alleviate problems and try to hit them head on. So it's a very interesting reading for Thursday of, uh, you know, the, the Eight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles right next to it. There's always hope, but it's, it's a matter of perspective and it's a matter of being ready and the timing. And I think the King of Swords is present in this reading to say, you have the intelligence, you have the reasoning, you have the power of the sword to help you problem solve, and to help you make good decisions for you. And don't listen to all the BS that's out there. Focus on what is real, focus on the facts, and focus on the facts on the table. So uh, let's take a look at the numbers. We have one and five is six, and six and eight is 14. And 14 reduces to five, which can be about new cycles. It can be about um, conflict, freedom, and having to be flexible and being adaptable. And then to close the reading, let's get a uh, choose an oracle card and see what it would like us to know. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Well, interesting because really when you look at these cards, People are going through heavy things in life and may not feel like giggling and laughing and may not be thinking about having humor, particularly when 
times are tough. But uh, thinking of a fond memory or thinking of something that made you smile can be maybe a point of relief. Or watching a TV show that makes you laugh can just let you escape for a bit. There's no harm in that. It's probably good for the heart, good for the soul. You know, is, is uh, humor. But choose to focus on the lighter side of life. It's a wonderful thought and it's wonderful to do, but I understand completely that sometimes it's hard to do that when you struggle or when you're feeling trapped or, re or restricted or, or oppressed. It's hard to be lighthearted and it maybe takes time to get that lightheartedness. So friends, I hope that you found this helpful today. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, or comment and come back tomorrow for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.